All right, good morning everyone and welcome back to the eBay shop. My name's Corey. I'm Teresa. And today we're going to pull some orders that sold on eBay over the weekend and we're going to look at something that we got to do for the first time I guess as resellers and that is go to a live auction. It was a live estate auction. We'll talk about that once we get some orders pulled here. So first things first we've got to get stuff for the post office so let's go ahead and start grabbing those things. Um, what's first today? So this was a little weird. We have some of the cello baseball cards instead of buying a pack. At, they bought 12 individual packs. Okay, so we do sell them individually for people that just want to buy a pack or two. So it was just weird they bought like $100 worth of individual packs when they were just short of buying a whole box at that price. All right, so it's, it's these ones here. How many packs do we need? 12. So it's like these here. There's like 30 cards per pack. So we had about 12 packs of those. And you said those sold for what? They're 25 cents a piece, roughly, is what we have in them. So $3 total, if I did my math right. Um, and they paid $102 for that. That was a good sale, and we'll mm -hmm. actually get those. I'm pretty sure that will, I don't know if that comes over the pound for flat rate. I'm guessing we'll probably be able to get that out priority yet. Next thing. Up next is a Wilson A360 black softball glove. It is in tote 17. There it is. It's kind of a weird time for baseball gloves and softball gloves to be selling, but I'm glad to see them actually moving. It's that guy there. Pretty much brand new. It's a nice glove. And what do we have in that? We have $5 in it and we sold it on our sale at $17.40. I'm guessing that can just go in like a padded, padded envelope. envelope or a poly mailer. Okay. What's next? Okay. So up next is something that I found at the bin store. It is some Norm Architects menu bottle grinders. I thought they were just oh, salt yes. and pepper grinders. They're not salt and pepper grinders? Well, they are, but you can put other seasonings in them oh. too. They're here. I won't pull them out of the box, but we do have a good picture I'll throw up on the screen for you. And those, you said bin store, so that's a dollar. A buck, and we sold them for $50. Yay you. Yay me. Up next is Beyblade Pegasus. It is over in the Beyblade drawer, and it is BB13. The Beyblades, I don't know. If we did a video on when we found these or not, we found a whole box of them for like, I don't know, 15 bucks. We've been in the profit on these for a little while now. So everything we sell out of that box now is just profit. It's that one. Yep. And we have like 50 cents in it and sold it for $7.75. Up next, these next three things are all part of one order. Two of them are in one spot, one is in another. So we have a Lamax dock worker figurine for Christmas Village and a Lamax park ranger. It's all these little figures here, little Christmas decoration figures. As long as I was there, I just grabbed all three. Let's see what we got. So we got this one here. That is helping dad. And how much did he sell for? He was 65 cents and we sold him for $7. And then we have these two here. These both we have 65 cents in each. That'd be the dock worker. The dock worker we sold for $6.29. And the park ranger, he is a rare one and he sold for $16.79. And then on that same order, not including the helping dad was a department 56 seed cart a harvest seed cart set of three so that one there was part of our bulk buy of department 56 um, at this point there's no cost associated with them we're well into the profit on these yep and that one sold for ten dollars and fifteen cents on our sale perfect up next is another department 56 it is um one of the fancy green boxes it is gads hill gads hill place gads G-A-D apostrophe S, Gads. Not much to show with that one. Uh, there's no picture of it on the box or anything. That's the addition there. That and was also part of our bulk buy. And that one sold for $13.96. Up next is one of my favorite. A 2012 Monster High Gulia Yelp black and blue shoes and they are the shoes only a pair of shoes these ones right here We've got a whole bunch of like barbie doll shoes and stuff like that over in those totes so it's just a single pair of shoes we can throw those in a padded envelope yep and those we paid roughly 50 cents when i gathered out the cost for everything and we sold those for seven dollars and 99 cents all right what's next this is another box of the football cards the 1998 it is one of the yellow boxes the big boxes okay yeah I, they're determined between yellow and white. That one right there. Jumbo cellophane packs, like 40 cards per pack on these ones. It looks like there's 24 packs per box. We've got about six bucks per box in these and that sold for how much? $189. Okay, so we took an offer on that. It sold on a, sold on an offer. They're usually about 210, I believe. Up next is something that I don't know if we should have bought, but it is the Party Llama Fanny Pack, the black one. What do you mean you don't know if we should have bought them? Those have been good. They've been sitting here. Those were one of the first things we purchased. They are a little bit long tail, but I'd buy them again, honestly. They a are llama. brand new. 
fanny packs and they're brand new with the tags on them. Does that have the price tag on the back? It does, originally $6.99. How would you not buy that? That we have $2 in and we sold it for 11 bucks. Oh, that's how you would not buy it. It wasn't a great profit, but it was profit and they take up no room at all. So I'd buy them again, I think. Up next is another bin store buy. They are the Nikon battery chargers. I think we only have two of them left, yep. one after this sale. I think we had four or five to begin with, these little Nikon camera battery chargers. So from a bin store, we know automatically we've got a buck in those and, and those sold for what? $19.50, that was a good buy. Up next is one of my favorite purchases. It was one that Corey found at the bin store because they looked unique and they've only been on the, the only been on eBay for a couple days. Oh, I already know what you're talking about. <laughs> that is a Princess Guinevere and the Jewel Rider. It is the Sunstar Pony or the Sunstar Unicorn. I think these were in just our last video. So that's Sunstar the Unicorn. Pretty cool vintage buy for a thrift store. That doesn't happen all the time for $1.75, but we did. And that sold for $27.99. Perfect. So we did really well on those. And we still have one more. We have moon, whatever. Moon. Hold on. That was Sunstar. Moon we have dust, Moon Dance. Moon Dance. Moon Dance. There you go. The purple one. Up next is something I've been listing a lot of lately is a Tupperware push button canister. Tupperware. Oh, the orange one. The orange lid one. There we go. That one there. It's got that old school Tupperware orange. Push the lid, push the button on the lid and it pops it open. We have a dollar in and we sold it for $12. Um, next up is something that we decided to buy and part out. It is a Black & Decker Flavor Center steamer basket thing. We um, only sold the base. We do have a couple different models of these. This is the smaller model. We have another model down here, but this is what actually sold. It's just the base for the steamer itself. We still have all the internal bowls and lids and parts for it. We did plug it in. We did test it. It does heat up. Yep. So it's been tested and works. And that was the one that we have a dollar in and we sold it for ten fifty. Perfect. That's one part. We probably have six or eight more parts of this. Okay. And the last thing we have to pull that's got to ship today is another one of my Department 56. We used to have two shelves of Department 56. Now we only have one shelf of Department 56. If you've been watching a while, remember that whole green shelf over there was full top to bottom with department 56, just that one on the end. And so is this one. Now it's just this one. And even that is starting to really kind of narrow down. And you need the locomotive shed and water tower. Yep, locomotive shed and water tower right there. That was part of our initial bulk buy, which like Corey said earlier, we have, we are 100% in the profit on it. Um, that one sold for $19.95. That's the stuff we have to get packed up into the post office today. So now let's look at something that we got to do for the very first time. It was kind of a unique experience. We've been to auctions before. We've been to like farm auctions and stuff like that. And we've been to estate sales. We've never been to a live estate auction. This one was actually a living auction. Like the people were not but deceased. They, they just decided to sell everything. They downsized and moved closer to their kids. And then they put everything they had in their house, their new house, and then sold everything that didn't fit in. Yep. And they, and they sold everything. Like it, it looked like two households were there. Like they sold the knickknacks and the drawers. They had a lake house. So they had a lot of like furniture that were bunk beds that their grandkids came and slept in. And yeah. they, they were also avid travelers. I think they said they had been to like 80 countries or something like that. Like it was a, re they traveled everywhere. A lot of cruise line stuff, a lot of different country souvenirs, mm -hmm. I guess. And not all like cheap trinkets and stuff. I mean, they had some fairly nice, expensive stuff, but the prices at the auction, I mean, there was a lot of resellers there, but we, there was a lot of stuff going for just a buck or two. We got a lot, we got a couple boxes that were a buck or two, yep. but we also scored because some people bought stuff and they didn't want the rest of the stuff. So they just gave it to us. That's something that was actually surprising. People would buy, they were selling in kind of boxes like these down here. People would buy a box or two, three boxes together and they'd take the one they want and they'd push the rest aside and they'd say, you want that? I'd be like, sure. <laughs> so we ended up with a lot of stuff that was just completely free that people bought as a lot and didn't want. Let's see, Graham's just digging out no, one I'm, of the- No, I'm sorting out the stuff because some of this in this package we have already listed, but to get it home from our other building that we own where our, business, other, where our brick and mortar business is, we had to stick stuff in other totes. So I was just digging out what hadn't sold or what we hadn't listed, but we did get a bunch of stuff listed yesterday. Corey listed these. There's a 
crap ton of hats. Um, these are all brand new with tag on it from the Panama Canal. They are Princess Cruise. From the Prince, yeah, they're from the Princess Cruise Line. I don't know why you would buy, I don't know how many hats there are there, but they bought a bunch of them. Those hats are all brand new with tag. They're all Princess Cruise Line from Panama Canal. And there was another brand new hat and some brand new bags, kind of from the same cruise line, from the same, I guess, visit, this the same trip they took. But there's also a box here of about 50 or 60 ball cap style hats. And that one I bought strictly because I kind of dug through it a little bit and I saw seven or eight of the hats actually had like little hat pins on them. I looked a few of those up and they sell for anywhere between five to 10 bucks a piece. That entire box of almost 60 hats with the hat pins went for $2, I believe. So just crazy good deals there. When people saw something like that, they didn't want, they didn't tend to dig much. These are the Panama Canal bags. They're really cool. They still have the plastic on the handles. They're really durable, like woven cotton or canvas. I don't, canvas. Yeah, that, that. Got this big Chewbacca doll here and he does have some value. We looked him up, he does sell. And this bear, like a scuba diving bear in a wetsuit with a little dolphin, he sells too. He's from the North America Bear Company. The VIB is very important bear, but he is Jacques Berstow. And then these drawers Pins. are completely packed with crafting stuff. Well, crafting stuff and cooking stuff. So there's a lot of cookie cutters. Like one whole thing over here is cookie cutters and candy molds and stuff like that. This whole thing here is crafting stuff for everything from card making to like stained mosaic. glass window stuff and mosaic pieces and tile pieces, including the tools and the stained glass pieces and, and the the flux and the like the lead paste stuff, like everything to do that whole hobby is in these drawers. We bought them for the price of the drawers. Like we literally bid on these so we could grab the drawers, but what's in them is gonna have a lot of value too. Like we did really well on those. Here's another one we got kind of pushed over to us for free, didn't we? No, they added it to another thing that we were looking oh, to buy. I think we only spent like a dollar on it. Yeah, we and did. And we got an entire flat of Starbucks mugs. There were 12. Well, there were 13. There were 12 that were full-size coffee mugs, and um, but one had a broken handle, so we did not list that one. But this one is actually pretty cool. It actually sells for like 50 bucks. The rest of them are anywhere from nine to 20 bucks, but they're really cool. They're all packaged in here nicely for the travel home. I guess if you ever get the opportunity to go to a live estate auction, do. And if you get a chance to stay around till the end when they start kind of going through the smalls and they're getting right down to the nitty gritty, stick around to the very end because that's when you know, basically they were just piling stuff together and starting the bids at a dollar, just trying to get rid of it. People were almost not bidding. It was a lot of smalls and trinkets and stuff. And a lot of it felt like just junk, but there was a lot of really good stuff in that. And we did, I think we did really well there. We paid $80 in total for this entire pile you see back here. And we have over 300 listed, no, more than 300. Yeah, I, I think, think we've listed. listed over 300 just in the cups and the caps from Panama. Yep. And we haven't even started digging through the drawers, the box of 50 hats or any of the other craft stuff or anything like that. We haven't even really dug into that yet. So, but the craft drawer, the stuff in the craft drawers weren't necessarily a high priority. We were more looking at the drawers. They weren't for really cheap. Like the one set, I think I paid 10 bucks for, yeah, 15 bucks, 10 bucks for. For the, for the stack. So of it wasn't really for the stuff that was in it. It was more for the I totes think, themselves. I think there was one like glass snipper pliers, brand new in pliers that was, or brand new in package that was more than the $10 we spent on the entire drawer. And there was a whole drawer of tools in there that we yep. haven't even really gone through or priced yet. So live estate auctions, pro tip, go grab those. And then today we actually bid on Ooh, let a me look. storage locker. I'm not sure if we're going to get it. I think maybe somebody will come in last minute, but we're hopeful it is top to bottom totes. We're hoping, but really storage auctions for us is just, it's just a gamble. I mean, we just decided we were going to gamble on it. We have Fingers two crossed. hours, 37 minutes and 37 seconds left. And we are the highest bidder. So yeah. <laughs> Fingers crossed, we'll see if we get it. If we get it, we'll keep you informed and, and we'll show you that as we go grab it. Yeah, because it'll take like 10 trips to go get the stuff. We have a pickup, <laughs> we have a trailer. The trailer is buried under snow right now. We're yep. patiently waiting for this week to stay warm so it will warm up and melt the stuff that's in our yard. I don't think it's gonna happen. 
Yeah, the, the trailer's under snow. Like there's four foot of snow in front of the trailer and five foot of snow on it. There's no way. I mean, I could take the tractor and go drag it out, but it would still take us a couple hours to scoop the trailer itself off. And it'd just be easier to take the truck and make three, four trips. That's all we got for you today. Is that all we got for him today? No, I wanted to introduce somebody. So we are going to be empty nesters soon. Yes, we are. We're kicking our last, our youngest out of the house. We've told her that she's no longer welcome here. No, we didn't tell her that. She decided <laughs> she wants to go adult on her own, but we will gain an entire probably 14 by 14 bedroom in case we need more stuff to store. This is Hannah. Hi. She's our doll sorcerer slash refrigerator raider. Um, <laughs> refrigerator raider. She will be heading out on her own. So everybody wish Hannah luck and we will see you guys next time. Hasta la vista.